I am loving all the products in the new Thermoweb Gina K Designs release, but I think my favorite is the Glitz Glitter Gels. In this video, I'm sharing many cards I made with these glitter gels and the new stamp and stencil system and other favorite dyes and stencils. Hello and welcome to Karen's Creative Cards on YouTube. I am Karen Hashik and just look at these sparkly, gorgeous glitter gels. I have five so far, but the rest are on my wish list. So I have the black and the white, um, and then the turquoise sea is gorgeous, and I'll show you some samples with those. I'm also um, going to be using the grass green and the wild lilac on some of the, ca the card that I make for you today. Um, here are the nine that are available. Um, there's also a gold, a sweet mango, a red velvet, and a bubblegum and they're all on my wish list. Um, here are some cards that I made with the glitter gel so far. Um, this turquoise is just gorgeous and as you can see you can put it on white or black and both of them are just gorgeous. I needed about five sympathy cards a couple weeks ago so I'm making a new stash to have them on hand and all you need to do is put the glitter gel through a stencil um, put some words on and you have a gorgeous card. More details on all these cards are going to be on my blog. Um, I used on both of those the stencil from the new release, the Stamp and Stencil Detail Stencil. This one is called Crazy Daisy and um, I am loving that um, beautiful look that you get with that. Um, I also did it in the black on a green background and um, I'm hoping that you can see in the camera um, the the glitter in this gel is well it's just gorgeous it's very glitzy and gorgeous and um, there's the blue on the butterfly and the hello is from the stamp set that I'm going to show you in a minute um, I use the white through a bride stencil on a pretty blue tonic studios paper and added some dies for a wedding card and that's a layered Mr. and Mrs. on the inside. Um, in this case I um, used a balloon stencil and I sponged with some ink and then I moved it over a little bit and put the purple on top for this very bright and colorful celebration birthday card. Um, this uh, card is using again the stamp and stencils, the stamping and then with the stencils applying some of the glitz glitter gel on the flowers and also the spots of the ladybug are raised with texture and very glittery. This is the card uh, that we're going to make together today and I'm using all the components of the stamp and stencil set. I know I have it. Here it is. I'm sorry. Um, I used the dies as I'm going to show you. Um, the stencil is here and these are the stamps um, and they're all the parts of the petals and wings stamps dies and stencils and I also used a um, die from Sue Wilson for Creative Expressions. I'm loving the whole line of the mini expressions dies from her. So um, first I am going to do some sponging and I don't know if you've seen um, these makeup sponges that are available all over the place. Um, I bought a set on Amazon and I'm um, not using them for makeup, I'm only using for sponging, adding color. Um, what I really like, and I think I'll do a video on it, is what you can, you can easily add color and you can kind of fade out if you want to. Now in this case I kind of want my color to be even, but it's very easy to do. Um, they're easy to clean and I'm just loving this. I'll put a link um, to the, this set that I found on Amazon very reasonably. I'm using Catherine Puller's Grass Skirt Ink and you just start off a little bit and then you come and sponge in the holes of the stencil.
and I like the variations of the soft and the bright, you know, the, the more color in some areas and softer in others. It's very easy to do with these brushes. Of course, I used my favorite purple tape. Um, I also used the purple tape to mask these parts because I didn't want to get any ink through that. And there we have a very soft, pretty color um, to start. Um, I'm just going to clean this right now with a baby wipe. And then what I like to do is line it up and then move it over so that we have two images. One with the soft ink and one with the glitz glitter gel. And this is the grass green. You can see that it's very, very glittery, and every time you use it, it settles back in um, nice and, and flat like that. I'm taking a little on my, get this out of the way here, um, stencil knife. And once you get it in all the holes, and you can pick up the excess with your knife. You don't want to waste any of that beautiful gel. And then I'm going to lift the stencil up carefully. And as you can see, we have uh, the sponged flowers and then the beautiful glittery gel flower, uh, I'm sorry, leaves right next to them. I need to clean this up because I'm going to use it again um, on the second part, so I'll be right back. Now I have set that one aside to dry and it does take mm, half an hour to an hour, something like that, for that um, Glitz Glitter Gel to, to dry. Um, I'm going to move on to stamping the flowers that we're going to use. Now um, I watched a uh, video by Gina Kay and she suggested um, putting registration marks um, at the top of like the flowers and so I've done that on here. I've also done it on the top of here so I know that this is the top when I go to cut it out and then I have a die and I've also marked that so you kind of fiddle around with it until you you come to the perfect alignment and then um, the next time you don't have to do that which is nice so um, I am going to um, use my misty and pick the flower up and I'm using flirty fuchsia from Katherine Pooler to ink it up. Now we're starting with a uh, little kind of square piece of paper. Um, if you wanted to make four of them, you could. You just would make the paper a little bit bigger. Ink in it again and make sure we have a real pretty co coverage. Now, um, what Gina advised you to us to do is to then cut it out. So I am going to line this up um, with the registration mark towards the top and a little bit of white on all sides, trying to get it perfect there, and use. I think it moved. And I do want to get it perfect. But again, with that registration mark, you know which one is should be on top. And then hold it still. Put it down with a piece of tape. And we're going to run that through my Gemini and cut it. Take the 
removable tape off. And then um, we're going to put it back in the hole of the paper that we've created. We're going to take some temporary tape and um, put it on the back of it and put it back in the hole of the paper that it came from. And that just makes it a little bit easier to, to use. You know, rather than having that small flower, you're, you're dealing with a square piece of um, the cardstock. And then um, I have also marked the top of the flower there, and so of the little flower. So you're going to line that up with the top of the flower that you stamped, and each one of those little petals are perfectly in the center of that. And then we're going to use some of our purple tape from Thermoweb to tape this down. Now I have both sizes of the purple tape. I have quite a bit of this. This is the new one that just came out and I think I like this even more, um, especially for taping things down um, when you need a skinnier piece. But of course you can tear this and I use this all the time. And now I'm gonna take the Glitz Glitter Gel in the purple, which is just a gorgeous color. And all you need is a little bit of that, and you're going to go through the stencil again, and then pick up the excess. Close it, keep it fresh, remove the tape. and lift it straight up. You can get rid of this piece and there we have a flower with a pretty purple ink and then the glitter Glitz Glitter Gel on top. Now again that's going to take just a little while to dry and um, you always want to make sure that you clean off your stencils and your stencil knives and everything um, so as to not have that Glitz glitter gel dry on it, but that's not at all hard to do as you can see. Now all of that Glitz glitter gel does take a little while to dry, but I've done three in advance. I've also done a butterfly. Now the lining up of this does not require those registration marks, at least in my opinion, um, because the, the butterfly wings are obviously, this is the top and the bottom. And then you just put the little butterfly in the center and have the antenna come up. And we're going to attach the flowers with glue dots. And one of them I'm going to raise this one and then butterflies I like to raise the wings um, with a little bit of help and I have these uh, sticky skinny strips from motion crafts that I use all the time and that's what I'm going to put on the wings And then I like to put a glue dot in the center of the butterfly, and so that stays down and the wings stay up. 
So there's a glue dot in the center and my little skinny sticky strips that raise it and push the center down and they stay up and even through the mail um, they'll stay down and up just as you would like them to be. I like to clean up. Before I go on, I just love adding the sparkle of glitter and texture of the glitter gel to my cards without any of the mess of loose, loose glitter. And I hope my cards encouraged you to give this um, Gina K and Thermoweb stamp and, stamp and Stencil System as well as the Glitz Glitter Gel um, a try. Thanks for watching, sharing, and subscribing, and thanks too for helping me share the joy of creativity.